What is up my witches and wizards? We're back with Hogwarts Legacy and today we are talking about these moth mirror things. I'm not sure of the exact name so we're going to call them moth mirrors. When I first encountered them I was really confused. You could see them with Revelio, but I had no idea what to do. I tried jumping, I tried doing everything when I eventually figured out that you were supposed to use Lumos in front of it and that will reveal the picture. Now, what I didn't realize at first is that this is showing another room in Hogwarts, so we have to figure oh, out the puzzle. That's what you do? So the missing piece is actually a moth that goes on the bottom of the mirror, and so take a good look at that room because we have to go find the moth and then bring it back to the moth mirror. They're usually close by, so let's see if we can figure out where the moth is. I was just playing with the butterfly. I had no idea. Now, if there's one thing I've learned playing Hogwarts Legacy so far, it is to use Revelio as often as possible because there are Easter eggs all over as well as field guide pages, which is going to help you gain XP and help you level up. Revelio also reveals the moths that we need to complete these moth mirrors. So you can see I've used it quite often and I'm waiting to hear the ding and my controller vibrates when it sees something. Now that we found the moth, we have to bring it back with us to the moth mirror to complete the puzzle. So to do that, we're going to use Lumos and then we're going to run back down the stairs. Back down. Now that we brought our moth back down with us, we have to finish the puzzle. So we're going to stop doing Lumos and the moth is going to go onto the moth mirror and that will complete it. That will give us a field guide page and some XP. If you found this video helpful, like, subscribe, share it with a friend and stay tuned because there's more coming.